Hello everyone, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes. Mila Kunis shows off her range in the new film Four Good Days as she steps away from the traditional comedies that she's known for and tackles the pain of addiction. It's now in select theaters, and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. Mila Kunis stars as Molly, a heroin addict who comes knocking on her mother's door begging for help. Her mom, Deb, played by Glenn Close, has been in this situation many times before and shuts the door in her daughter's face. She's been hearing the I have changed speech for 10 years now and can't take the hurt and pain again. The next morning, Molly agrees to let her mom take her to a rehab facility. Molly has been through detox programs 14 times prior, but now there's a medicated treatment regimen that could be her only hope. Molly must continue to stay sober for four more days in order to start this new program. The film also stars Stephen Root and Joshua Leonard. Four Good Days is directed by Rodrigo Garcia, who co-wrote the screenplay with Eli Saslow. The film is based on an article that Saslow wrote for the Washington Post, inspired by Amanda Wendler's journey with addiction and the relationship that she had with her mom, Libby Alexander. Now, there's a buy-in that's needed with these types of stories to make them feel as authentic and real as possible. And I felt that immediately with the relationship that Mila Kunis and Glenn Close made together as mother and daughter. I could really sense the long-time pain and abuse that drugs and addiction has had on both of their lives. I understood the history between these two characters outside of what was just told to us in the dialogue. There's a codependency that they have with each other. A daughter knowing that she can play with her mother's emotions, and a mom who will fight as hard as she can for her daughter, despite the emotional and mental toll that it takes on her. The title alone tells you that Four Good Days offers a limited and intimate look at an addict's life and the painfully hard transition uh, between being a user and being sober. There's a real care given by director Rodrigo Garcia to keep this feel moment by moment as temptations come and go. This film is really about both of them, Molly and Deb, as it's not just about uh, Molly as the addict. These four days are um, a time for them to repair their relationship and rebuild the trust with each other. Mila Kunis is rarely given dramatic roles like this, but she reminds us that she can tackle the emotion and the weight of playing an addict responsibly. She wisely strays away from turning this into a melodrama. Glenn Close really grounds the film too with her heartbreak and grace and gives Deb this unconditional love for her daughter. It will be easy to make comparisons to Glenn Close's other new movie, Hill Billy Allergy, but I think this one is the far better of the two. As Four Good Days comes with focus, the acting is less frantic, and it felt more honest in its portrayal of addiction. I'm giving Four Good Days three and a half out of five ticket stubs. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I got to interview Mila Kunis and Glenn Close and composer Diane Warren, so you'll definitely want to check out those interviews. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Paul's Movie Trip, and then go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of Four Good Days. This is Paul's Trip to the Movies.